What's up everyone? Balik lagi dengan gua Ristina Selamat datang kembali di game Horizon Forbidden West Di video sebelumnya gua mohon maaf jika gua potong ya kontennya Karena gua kira gua udah rekam dan ternyata tidak rekam So, uh, konten yang kepotong tidaklah uh, banyak ya Jadi si Paul itu ternyata jatuh cinta sama kesitu tersebut gitu Dan si Aloy Uh, udah sembuh dan dia udah bisa keliling lagi apa sih udah bisa mulai lagi beraktivitas aloy <laughs> akibat ketemu dengan Eric dan pertarungan si Eric itu menurut gue seru banget sumpah jujur dan gue setelah itu apa yang gue lakuin gue jelajah uh, beberapa wilayah yang udah gue lewatin yang dimana gue stuck ya nggak bisa buka yang apa kayak ke blok gitu akhirnya semuanya udah kebuka dan gue bisa akses so yeah itu doang yang lewat jadi karena wah, apa uh, waktunya kemakan pas lagi di dungeon jadi bener-bener gue nggak bisa ngasih gue nggak mau bisa ngasih Kemudian. Alright, so gue di sini, gue mau pergi ke ini. Ini asal story. Oh, kita empire, kita buka empire. Keliling juga enggak bisa gue karena tak di misi yang dimana harus ada ya perlengkapan gitu jadi <tuh> la 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 Are you buying or selling to Arja Huntress? Now this outland. So what do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, Outlanders come taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with an Untaru thrush? What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today, running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. Karja Huntress. <laughs> Sounds like someone I know. Southwest. I should start there. I wonder what she's doing all the way out here. Travel across. Me. 
Go. Is that the savior of Meridian? Well, I've got some news for you. What? I heard there's a cauldron southwest of here, and I thought about taking a peek. But with these old legs, if any machines stumbled out, I'd be a goner. You better stay away then. Oh, the cauldron. A cauldron to the southwest. It probably has machine overrides I could use. Wait, it's back. Oh, my God, it's back. <laughs> you see that, Milo? You have to wait for an opening. Bali, bro. Are you all right? I don't know what happened. You let your heart down. Sunhawk Talana came Padish. Aloy, despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. 
I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, me lose your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter-killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize... The Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it never came. This is the field. Where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded no signs of battle. There are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadis is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were Osirum here? Hmm. 
Light prints. Not Osirum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. An Utaru? What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's ask him. Abandoned. Let me guess. Your stragglers got left behind when the wagons rolled out. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone, clothes would have been well-worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakht. Most burned, but others, the Tanakht marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakht prison, or a Karja graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakht territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amadis. Lead on. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakhs took the prison instead? To the rock? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> the ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. Just like old times. Is that a machine? Or a walking fortress? I have to be careful of my aim. Oh. You and me, this is
Ya harus bunuh dulu ya. Walah Lihat apaan lagi tuh Tampak 
Musuhnya nge-stuck Lana, I think I found something in the rubble. What is it? What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. The note ends abruptly. And the tunnel started to collapse, ah. I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. W hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Tawana seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do, but... I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. That's the one. Need some kind of code to open. It doesn't look like there's Is anything I can do now.
Oh no. Mana ya kodenya? Go go Power Rangers! Wait, Linzong. The Blight's taking over the Utaru fields. I have to get Guy up and running. I'm curious to hear There's Moro and Zoe. I've got news, Outlander. had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Utaro could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. I'm here, as promised, and singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl, but I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus r refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you, as many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on? Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered, year by year. Once they were peaceful, and now they turn on us when we approach. 
even attack us. They had always enriched the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A, a blight that, that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we barely have enough to feed our children. Must be over fertilization, spread by spores. I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they're falling apart, like Ray. They're dying. In my tribe with them. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The... The fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, once a year, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Do first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared. Two days later, shining anew. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hollowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? It sounds like it. But the way these land gods would come and go, it, it's not like anything I've seen before. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. They're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious, with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered.
creatures about Ah, beli item. Ooh. Ooh la la. Uh. Be stitched into the perfect wares. going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, right, let's go. go talk to them.
Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our traditions, should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Was that, it? Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. Time for permission is over. Then off we go. This way, out the gate and around. Fighting in the fields ahead. Yeah. Don't let the worry 
This way, out the gate and around. <laughs> Fighting in the fields ahead. This way, Aloy. Machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. Hunter killers. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend planes. We have to move. I think we can do something about all of this. Right. Um, yeah. More machines! These machines are stronger. Deadly. There's more than just one of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. <laughs> Anh cũng Like an outlander, yes? for that.
almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. to the cave. Kind of wall. Up Follow here. your lead, Aloy. May the land gods forgive our trespass. Cauldron door. To understand what's going on in there, you're going to need one of these. On the temple, just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything.
We have to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. This is a cauldron, where machines are born. It looks like one, but if the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. In here. Another wall. Not going that way. takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is brought into the roots. <sighs> Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. What are those panels on the floor? Those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shift the ropes, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. How are you doing? This place was meant for the land gods. No Utaru has ever set foot in here. But I had to, right? To help you and Aeon. the right thing, so. So, can you stand on that panel? Oh. 
like this? Good. Stay there. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down? Find a way across, Aloy. I'm working on it. It should be heavy enough. <clears throat> Can't fit the crate through that opening. Pillars. There might be a way across. I can get them into the right position. That did it. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. close one more set of pillars there should be a floor panel nearby to activate them
Ya Allah. Gue udah neken lo Axel ya tadi lo. Kenapa woi? Gak mau respon gitu, gue udah nonton ekstrim tadi. Ini chaos, momentum. Selangat. Going down. back we can climb up that vent how do we cross cables are twisted around that node on the other side I'll see if I can get to it we'll wait here Looks like there's another node on the other side. Through that door. Who do you think? Matrix. Follow to get to that node on the other side. Okay, there's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I fly. Engage, 
distribution chain one. Zeta. that platform down there. before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile they used to be part of something good something called Gaia Dome of Light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Ah! Ah! 
Pecat dulu Bang, set nih yang ini nih robot
bangsat. Ah bangsat benar tim bangsat tim bangsat tim bangsat. Ah, gua udah menang bang ke. Zolu lemah Zolu beneran lu Zolu goblok Zolu lemah Zolu tolol Zolu adalah pasir yang paling tergoblok terlemah yang gue temuin Zolu Ya, ada node yang harus saya akan berhubung di sini untuk menutupkan Capek Zolu Orang disuruh kerja Zolu Allah wakbar Allah wakbar Aloy Nahun Woy ngapa lu ngamuk Wah lu apa ini sana Allah wakbar fal. Palu gak guna fal. Ah ha ha. Fal. Palu mendingan mati aja lah fal beneran palu. Ampas fal. Apa lu apain? Allah wakbar pal. Dasar orang hitam bodoh. Gamnya bangsat, aduh lo, hei, hilang pojokin, ah, aduh lo, hei, 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 wah Allah, kabur, 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 bang. Ini banyak anjing. Oke oke, terang, terang musuh maksudnya. Ini gak kacurukan musuh. Ini gua semua yang gua lawan anjing.
Allah, ya Allah, ya Allah. Eh, lalu. Gak ada darah, gak ada darah. Bangkat, 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 ngamuk, goblok. Still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on you. They look like machines. They must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn it? Let's find out. has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. And the data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on now. Greetings, graduates of Cradle 9. Welcome to the regional... Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. <laughs> At least, not directly. Attention. All personnel. 
Thomas vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Uh. Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. the facility systems. Shutting me out. Huh. I, I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. It looks like another part of the facility. Door is locked. through that door right now. I should turn back, see what else I can find. into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. <sighs> Close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms. Maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? to that ledge. Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But how to reach them? 
Some of those rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Aha. Another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Misery will cease. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Initiate heuristic matrix. Here it goes. We brought you like a young, I'm a Gaia. Gaia. Elizabeth is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. fake this time? No. This time she's real. Barl? So? This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus.
established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did, with the help of machines. So this place was here all this time, built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about, Ted Farrow? He sabotaged things. I wasn't supposed to be this way. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Right. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. visited all accessible rooms of the facility.
There you are. Should we keep looking around? I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Like some kind of storage room. Door won't open. Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet.
Summer needs a code. Not much I can do about it right now. But I should keep an eye out for any data in the facility that can help. Yeah. I guess I should go back. Yeah. What is this place? Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, 
so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. Satellite. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that... they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... that they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes, that is my conclusion. The three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? 
Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere, to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction, instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is... really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light-years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. 
This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... how could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... it's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent? I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. <sighs> that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, 
is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore, might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Ooh. Ah. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. 
In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Ball? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zo meet me by the west door? Be right there. Damn. You like this, ain't my young. <laughs> Gaia? What is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. I think I can reconnect some of them already. And it seems like they're more up. More data for the dome. An excellent choice. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. It'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. You got a pocket top bang. I need to head further west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, 
Stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Tracks, I can find out where they're headed. Oh, I can hey. probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Yeah, I the rest of rest of the bad lander. Face me. Okay, guys, so it's the uh, video kali ini lumayan cukup panjang. Dua jam tiga puluh menit dan. So anyway, thank you banget kalian telah nonton sampai saat ini. Uh, tanpa support kalian, gue tidak bukan apa-apa. So anyway, thank you banget kalian telah nonton. Sampai jumpa di episode berikutnya. Mungkin gue akan kasih cuplikan balapannya bagaimana. Saya rasa gue akan cuplikan. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye.